that way. Man, that was one cold night. All right, so here's what we're gonna do on day two. Uh, we're here at Fish Pond at this lane too. We're gonna head over to Little Fish. Then we're gonna go into Little Long Pond West. We're gonna go check out Lydia Pond. Then we're gonna backtrack. We're gonna head to Kit Fox. Then to Nelly Pond. Then we're gonna run over to Bessie Pond to check that out and backtrack. And then do this really long carry all the way down to Long Pond. And from here, we're going to do this carry over to Slang, into Turtle, then into Whole Pond, and uh, we'll finish our trip here. if I could fit down through there but I think that birch down there is not gonna make that possible Well, damn, that looks steep. Shit. Go all the way down there.
bit along. Little long west, I should say. So we're gonna head to the right and uh, find the carry for Lydia Pond. Lydia's way out there. I'd say that's the uh, the most remote of all the St. Regis canoe area ponds. The carry for Lydia is um, straight ahead, way down at that tree line. There's the, uh, the carry sign for Lydia. Lydia Pond, not very big. I'm not too excited about this put-in. It's uh, pretty shitty and this log is causing a problem. I can't afford to go in the water. It's The water's too cold to uh, take chances. So hopefully I can find a spot. You can see this whole put-in is not very easy. The water's fairly deep there. I thought I might be able to sneak the boat in here, but I stepped in and it uh, it's going to go over the top of my neoprene boots. This is a real bummer, but I've got a bail on Lydia. The wind is really picking up here, so I'm going to be into a headwind. So I'm not going to record anything. I just gotta, I just gotta get across this. The weather today certainly isn't as nice as yesterday. A lot windier, a lot cloudier, a lot colder. This carries really well hidden. It's tucked in this little cove. Kit Fox Pond. She's a small one. The carry should be right down here. Although I don't see a sign for it, but it doesn't mean anything. It's gotta be right here. Pretty back in here. Made it to Nelly. The sun is out in full force. It's cold and windy today, but the sun is making it pretty nice. It doesn't matter what pond I'm on and which direction I'm going. The wind's always in my face. I did something wrong. It carries in here somewhere. Well, they need a hard carry sign to see. I don't know what is. 
So this is the carry uh, from Nelly to Long. It's tucked in here pretty good. And that's your put in and take out right there. I know I'm not happy either. This carry to Long Pond is 1.6 miles. Wish me luck. There's Bessie, but the uh, the carry's just gone. It just trail just ends. I'm trying to find the put in. Well, there's a really nice campsite on Bessie. You see the wind today really picking up. We're gonna save this one for a better day too. It's two ponds. I'm disappointed I didn't didn't get the paddle. Oh, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, this is the carry. It is rugged in here. There's a fighter jet overhead. I can actually feel the vibrations in my boat. Pretty freaky. Looks like we're coming up on something here. Must be that little on the pond. Now I just gotta figure out where the carry continues. I can see the trail sign right up in the tree there. There's the, uh, where I pick up the carry. That's the edge of a beaver dam. Drops off, probably about two feet. Long pond, finally. I love that carry, and I hated that carry. It's all, it's all 1.6 miles. It's not just long. It's like the worst conditions. The, the mud in there is so unbelievable. I couldn't film a lot of the mud because there's just nowhere to put a tripod or the camera. So, yeah, throw a heavy pack on in a boat, a 15-foot boat, and, yeah, it was, it was an experience. But I am back on Long Pond. I've paddled this many times. It's my favorite, um, favorite stretch is Long Pond. I'm going all over here. <laughs> 
Long pond, slang, and turtle to hold. Wood definitely seems like it's gonna storm. I am getting blown all over hell right now. The winds are, they don't even know which way they want to go. We're getting blown from the back, the side, the front. They are swirling. It's pretty rough and it looks like the wind is lining up perfectly so it's got a good run. I even see a little bit of white caps out there so I might just hang out for a little bit. See if this wind, wind passes. A little more protected from the wind over here. Take out straight up around this pen to the left. This carry will be about 275 yards. This is the last real carry, anything significant. And we're here already. After that 1.6 mile carry, these uh, 275 yard ones seem like nothing. Pond carries up over an old railroad bed. Both pond seems pretty pissed off right now, so I'm not filming any of this. Put the camera away. You can use your imagination. I'm just going that way. Here we go. All right, that's the end of the trip right there. Figures as soon as I bust my ass, going into the strong headwind.
the front passes and now the water's calm. Well, that's a wrap. If you actually watched this whole thing, <laughs> I thank you. You're my kind of people. Uh, I'm pretty beat, so hope to catch you out on the water.